took that photo? That is not a good photo. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about one tip for you super beginner photographers out there that is going to help increase your photo quality by a lot. And that one thing is check your angles. I know that sounds simple, but when you're starting off, and I know I did this a lot too when I first picked up the camera, is I did three things. I looked at my subject, I picked up my camera, and I shot. Now, this can be super effective and you can always get great shots. I mean, pretty much every photographer still does this, but you need to add angles into your arsenal. Now, really what I mean by angles is not just look ahead of your subject and take your shot. Take a step back, look at your environment and try to find other shots that are available to you. If you're taking a lot of shots and a lot of them aren't coming out your way, but you know that location is super on point, make sure to check your angles because you can always find great photos from different angles, not just your left and right, but I mean up and down as well. A really good example of this would actually be if you're in a forest or a really big city with a lot of tall buildings like New York. If you take a second and look at your environment, you'll notice that you'll have really tall buildings or trees around you. You'll have the opportunity to actually incorporate that in your photo rather than just letting your really good location go to waste. So an example of this would be a photo that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. This is actually taken in Portland at Multnomah Falls. I was actually able to get the full waterfall on the photo. Granted, it's not a great photo, but you guys are still getting a point. I was able to capture more than just the water falling behind him. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is you're gonna be able to get more shots and actually use your environment to your advantage. And it doesn't have to be in a tall environment either. You can be in a normal city street after it rains, there can be a puddle on the ground, and you guys can get some really nice reflection off of those. But you might have to crawl on the ground. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. All right. One more. Do one more. Guys. I might have fucked it up. But remember, do it for the gram. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. This is going to be a nice, short, sweet video for you guys. Again, this is for you super beginner photographers out there. Don't forget to check your angles. It's super important and you'll end up coming home with a lot more shots than you normally would. If you usually come home with around five to 10 great shots, you'll end up coming home with around 15 to 20 great shots. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanna subscribe, if you haven't already, do that, you know, like the video, yeah. Uh, tweet it, if that's your thing, you know. Follow us on Instagram, link down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to share the video as well, it helps us out. If you guys are beginner photographers, I mean, everyone starts out somewhere. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. My name is James. This is YouTube Creatives. Check in with us every single week for some more videos. See you guys next time.